But first, we're kicking things off here at home with sports anchor John Doss. He's live from Brown's training camp in Berea. John? It is the day everybody has been waiting for, kicking off 2021 Browns training camp. Of course, the most anticipated training camp, dare we say, maybe ever for this team coming off a 12-win season in 2020. And of course, that exciting playoff win against the Pittsburgh Steelers. This team expecting more and perhaps a longer run into the 2021 NFL playoffs. Quite the juxtaposition from here in Berea to the outside world. COVID-19 becoming less and less of a story for this Cleveland Browns team. I am told they are nearing that 85% vaccination threshold in which many of the NFL's restrictions are released. Kevin Stefanski saying today that has been a concerted effort for his football team this offseason. The guys know how I feel. Uh, I respect everybody's decision. That it is a, a decision that they get to make. Uh, but we're just going to continue to do our part to educate that we have a safe and effective vaccine. Want to keep our players safe, keep their families safe, the staff, etc. At the moment, the Browns have just one player on their reserve COVID-19 list. That is the rookie, the second round pick, Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa. No word yet on uh, JOK's timetable for return. Kevin Stefanski, like many of us, a little upset he's not going to get to see JOK on the practice field just yet. Yeah, I'd say not ideal. Obviously, I'm sure he wants to be out here and we want him out here, but that's the nature of this thing. And, and we'll just bring him along uh, as quickly as we can while he's not here. But the good news, Baker Mayfield, Odell Beckham Jr., Miles Garrett, Jarvis Landry, all in attendance here on day one of Brown's training camp. Fans, though, not quite yet. Today closed to the outside world, as is tomorrow. But Friday afternoon here at the Brown's facility, fans packed the house. Live in Berea, John Doss, News 5.